Okay, this is chapter six, part two. Um, here we're gonna talk about how Beethoven takes a motive, a simple motive, and makes a whole symphony out of it. Kind of like um, Berlioz did, but he's just gonna take a, fa a four note motive that goes like this. Da, 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 da. And we call that motive the short, 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 long, because it's three short notes and a long note. La, 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 la. And he takes that and he sequences it. He can move it up. La, 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 la. And you'll see it in the music. I'm going to play it for you on this really cool little um, computer-generated um, rendition of the music. So here's the theme. Short, 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 long. Short, 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 long. And then you can see it gets sequenced and it gets higher and higher and higher. I'll play it for you. Oh, I better start it over. I didn't get it. Higher, higher, again. Higher, higher. Repeat it. Repeat it. Now do it really long. Short, 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 long. Oh, the sequence goes down. Lower, lower, lower. Go higher now. Higher, higher, higher. So he takes that same little motive, short, 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 long, and builds a whole symphony off of that. Um, it's really fun to watch that. You can actually see it. If you look at this, there, you can see short, 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 long, short, 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 long, short, 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 long, they get higher. And you can see the little section where they get lower, too. There, short, 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 long, and then down and then down again, and then down again in the red. So it's just a, a motive that he takes, a four-note motive, and he builds uh, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, which is his most famous symphony. Everybody seems to know that one, um, just off of four notes. The other way that we can um, have a complicated form is an ostinato. An ostinato really simply means a repeated figure in the bass line. So the bass line does the same thing over and over and over again. And I'm going to play you two samples of that. So the first one is um, right here. And this blue, these blue blips, that's the bass line. You're going to hear that happen, and you're going to hear the melody over the top. And the bass line repeats. You can see the pattern in the um, blue blips. Repeat, up, down, repeat again, bum, 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 dum, 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 dum. And that repeats over and over and over. That blue bass line repeats. The most famous one of these ostinatos is um, Pachelbel's Canon in D. And you hear this all the time at weddings. And it starts with this very simple bass line. And then other instruments um, play melodies over the top of this bass line, which keeps repeating. That is an ostinato. Bass line that keeps repeating. Here it is. Eight notes. Here it goes again. Okay, that's an ostinato. The bass line just keeps repeating. So you have the tools of repetition, contrast, variation, and improvisation. And you have simple forms, strophic, one melody, lots of different words, binary, two melodies, ternary, the A melody, the B melody, and then the A melody gets repeated, responsorial, one person sings something, and then a bunch of people sing it back like an echo, and complex forms where you take motives and you make uh, little tiny pieces 
of a melody, but you turn it into a whole big symphony. You can sequence that motive up and down, and then the last complex form is an ostinato, where the bass line repeats over and over and over again. That's chapter six.